Welcome to another training session. In today's session, we will learn how to properly retain the DBs. Have you ever faced the issue where, after commissioning the machine, you power cycle the PLC panel and all the parameter values reset back to zero? Then you need to re-enter every parameter again to be able to start the machine. Let's figure out a solution for this. First things first, DBs are generally used to store machine parameters, and the best practice is to create a separate DB for each machine station. As you can see in this sample program, I have created two different DBs for two machine stations. Now let's look into a DB. A database can have multiple variables in it. During commissioning, we usually test and set these parameter values. But the issue comes when we add a new variable in the DB. While downloading this new DB into the PLC, since the offline and online DBs are now different, it asks to initialize the DB before downloading. When we go online, you can notice that the monitored values of the variables are reset to their start values. To avoid this situation, first, we need to set the monitored or current values of the variables. Then we take a snapshot of these values by clicking on the camera button. This records the values. Next, by clicking on this button, we send these values to the start values. As you can see, now all values are transferred to the start values of the DB. Now let's add another variable in the DB. After adding and downloading it into the PLC, you will again see the message. The data blocks will be reinitialized with their start values. But this time, since we already saved the snapshot values to the start values, the parameters remain intact. If we go online now, you can see that the monitored values of the variables are restored from the DB start values. The next very important step is enabling the retain option for these parameters. By enabling retain, the values in the DB are preserved even after a PLC panel power cycle. And don't forget to download the DBs once more into the PLC after enabling retain. With this, everything is set. That's the end of today's session. Until next time, take care and goodbye.